Today's video, we're going to show you how to replace rotten bunk boards. Hi, I'm Steve, and you're watching Hall & Ash Outdoors. Today's project, I've got some rotten bunk boards on my boat trailer, so we're going to replace those. I went to the local lumberyard and I bought two 2x6 10s. I also bought some indoor-outdoor carpeting to wrap those 2x6s uh, for the bunks. Years ago, you didn't use pressure-treated lumber because there was a reaction to the aluminum that would cause the aluminum to start to corrode, eat through it. That's okay these days. There's a different kind of treatment in this pressure-treated lumber. There isn't any reaction anymore, so we're good to go with that. As you can see, my bunk boards were in very bad condition. And they fitted into these, I'm going to call them a cradle. And what happened was the lumber compressed due to rot enough that the top of these cradles were exposed, putting just a couple of scratches in the bottom of my boat. Nothing terrible. Uh, I caught it quick enough. It could have been much worse. So we're going to cut these two by sixes to the correct length, mount them in the cradles, cover them with carpet, and put the boat back on. For the time being, we moved my boat onto my son's trailer, but you can see the scratches that that front cradle put in my boat. It wasn't the middle or the back cradle, it was just the front one that the lumber had compressed enough to expose it, putting the scratches in the boat. First thing I want to do is measure the correct distance, same as the old bunk board was, so that I know where exactly to place these in the cradle and then screw them down. This one's all set to go. We're going to get some stainless steel screws put into it. I've used the C-clamp to tighten the 2x6 treated to the cradle. Want to keep them as tight as possible and then run a stainless steel screw in. I've measured nine foot on these new bunk boards. That's what the old ones were. So now I'm gonna cut them to nine foot. So the next step, I've got my carpet laying face down so that I can snap the lines to the width that I want to cover the bunk boards. I have more than I need, but I like to have extra. In this case, we need to have them 12 inches wide. I've got my carpet now on the bunks and clamped. What I will do is take a stapler and I will staple one side of each bunk. After I'm all done stapling, then I'll flip those clamps around and get the other side stapled. I got one side stapled. I flipped the clamps around to the other side and I'll begin stapling that side. I found that putting a rope to the top of the clamp down to the fender is helping me to keep that board flatter to be able to get in and staple it. Project completed. New bunk boards, new carpet, I'm good to go. One last thing that I will do before I put the boat on the trailer is I'll get some Dawn dish soap and I'll put it on the carpeting prior to putting it in the water. I'm told it just makes it slide on a little bit easier that first time. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. Until the next time, take care and God bless.